thing when she ripped up the speech. First of all, it's an official document. You're not allowed. It's illegal what she did. She broke the law. That, that was former President Donald Trump speaking about Nancy Pelosi ripping up his State of the Union speech. He believed that that was an illegal maneuver by Pelosi, which is fascinating considering the fact that we've just learned that Trump um, took official White House documents with him to Mar-a-Lago and they needed to be retrieved uh, from the National Archives. Insane. We also knew back in 2018 that he uh, apparently loved ripping up any document, uh, documents that should have been archived if he didn't like it, uh, if he wanted whatever issue was being uh, addressed in those documents, if, they, if it upset him and he didn't like it, he would rip it up and throw it away. Well, he was breaking the law when he was doing that. But I think this story is a perfect example of how there are certain laws pertaining to people in positions of power that essentially have no enforcement mechanism, no teeth. So let's give you the details on this. So the National Archives and Records Administration went to Mar-a-Lago about a month ago to retrieve official White House documents that Trump took along with him to Mar-a-Lago. He's not supposed to do that. So the Presidential Recovery Act requires presidents to preserve memos, letters, notes, emails, any type of correspondence having to do with official White House duties. Now, Trump advisors claim, look, Trump did nothing nefarious here. In fact, he was actually pretty indiscriminate when he would rip up documents. And uh, the documents that he took along with him weren't a big deal. Well, one senior Trump White House official said he and other White House staffers frequently put documents into burn bags to be destroyed rather than preserving them and would decide themselves what should be saved and what should be burned. Now, the January 6th committee also asked for certain documents uh, from Trump and uh, his advisors. And oh, wow, would you see, would you look at that? Uh, there were certain documents that they asked for that they couldn't get because they've been destroyed by Donald Trump. So it seems like there's more of a problem here uh, than some of his advisors would have you believe. The items included correspondence with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, which Trump once described as love letters, as well as a letter left for his successor, by President Barack Obama. Okay, so is this a serious issue? Yes, uh, it's not just, hey, oh, National Archives would like to uh, document things a little bit better. No, the question is what's missing? So uh, I'm gonna give you some examples in a second. But Trump has a history of doing this, but uh, his uh, supporters uh, painted as a positive thing. There's nothing positive about it at all. The reason he has a history of doing this is because he's a lifelong criminal. And that's why he's always tried to get rid of the evidence. That's his 